This is a presentation on Sophie Germain and her contribution to mathematics. Sophie was born in Paris, France on April 1, 1776. When she was 13 years old, the French Revolution began. Due to the violence on the streets, her parents, Ambroise Francois and Mary Germain, forbid their daughter from going outside. The Germain family was relatively well off, as her father was a merchant who later became a director of the Bank of France. It was during Sophie's confinement that she began to wander the halls of her father's library. This sparked the discovery of her greatest inspiration. Sophie found the story of Archimedes, a famous mathematician who was so entranced by his studies that he neglected a Roman soldier and was killed for it. She figured that a subject interesting enough to die for was worthy enough to study, so she did. Sophie spent her adolescent years teaching herself math with no assistance from others. Her parents strongly disapproved of her studies because they were considered unladylike for her time period. Her mother and father tried a multitude of methods to break her habits, which included taking away her clothing, dropping the temperatures in her room, and even forbidding her from all sources of light. Imagine being punished for doing what we now consider as homework. Sophie thwarted these plans by sneaking into the library with the warm quilt after dark to study differential calculus by candlelight. Ultimately, her parents allowed her to follow her passions, but this was just one hurdle of many that the young mathematician had to jump. When Sophie was 18, the École Polytechnique School of Mathematics was founded. The school was forbidden for females, so she never attended. But despite these challenges, she sneakily collected notes from the school lectures to do her own learning. From there, Sophie began writing letters under the false name of M. LeBlanc to the professor J. L. Lagrange. Lagrange was impressed by the work she sent, and even more so upon the discovery that she was a woman. He became her mentor who ultimately exposed her to the inner workings of the mathematical world. With her connections broadened by Lagrange, Sophie began to receive guidance from him and other mathematicians. She assumed her false name to write letters to Carl Frederick Gauss in 1804 about number theory. Together they studied the concept of Fermat's last theorem in an attempt to prove it. Later, when he no longer responded to her letters, she enlisted in the help of another mathematician known as Legendre to finish her studies with Fermat's last theorem. She came close to proving it, ultimately coining her own Germain's theorem. Her discovery states that if x, y, and z are integers, and all of the integers are raised to the fifth power, then either x, y, or z must be divisible by five. Despite never proving Fermat's last theorem, she came close enough to inspire other mathematicians, like Professor Andrew Wiles, to do so in 1994. Some of her greatest accomplishments were working alongside fellow mathematicians such as Lagrange, Gauss, and Legendre. She also dabbled in the arts of prime numbers, eventually becoming the first woman to receive an award for her accomplishments from the Paris Academy of Sciences in 1816. Sophie was bestowed with a gold medal for her work in elasticity. One of her earliest mentors, Carl Gauss, requested that she receive an honorary degree from the University of Göttingen. Sadly, she died on June 27, 1831, due to breast cancer before she could receive the award. She passed at 55 years old, and her house at 13 Rue de Savoie was declared a historical landmark. Despite all of the challenges posed against Sophie, she is an inspiration for everyone to follow their passions regardless of societal norms. She forged a legacy as someone who not only worked with the greatest minds of her time, but as a woman who fought her way to be recognized as one of those people herself. Today, we see the lasting impact of her work in things such as number theory, which aids in computer programming and security, coding, graphics, cryptography, and number generation. The studies she ran in elasticity added to humans' understanding of materials such as rubber and springs, both of which are pieces of trampolines found in the backyards of millions of families in America. Remnants of this inspirational woman still linger. After her death, Sophie was honored with a street and school being named after her. The education she was once denied is now accessible to all young girls. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on Sophie Germain.